What's going on in the Atlanta real estate market? What's going on with home values? Where are the best schools? Cleve has all the answers for you. Call Cleve Atlanta Real Estate Show on Talk Radio 640 WGSD. Now, here's Cleve Gaddis. You're listening to the Call Cleve Atlanta Real Estate Show on Talk Radio 640 WGST. If you need to reach us, Gaddis Partners Remax Center, you can call 770-497-0000 or you can go to gogaddis.com. That's G-O-G-A-D-D-I-S.com. One more time, G-O-G-A-D-D-I-S.com. Let's jump into our low down on the hood segment. Each week, we spotlight one specific Metro Atlanta neighborhood to call out critical changes in market pricing and discuss other important information to help you identify unique opportunities in that specific neighborhood or market area. This week we're highlighting Wexford, which is in um, Roswell, Fulton County. It is west of 400 uh, between Woodstock and Howes Road on 92, so Holcomb Bridge, uh, basically where Holcomb Bridge crosses 400. If you get off and turn left, you're going to find Wexford uh, about six or eight miles um, headed toward uh, Cherokee County. We're going to try to identify what was the market high pricing when the market was rocking and rolling, how low did prices get during the recession, and how well have they recovered since the recession. In 2007, the average sales price in the neighborhood was $405,000. There were 22 homes sold. By 2011, sales prices had dropped 30%, 30% to 285000 Listen to this, Alfie. Year-to-date in 2015, sales prices have increased back to 411000 so higher than they were in 2007. So they went down 120000 They went up 125000 what does that mean, Alfie? That means the average homeowner in that neighborhood has $125,000 more equity today than they did in 2011. And if you take all 420 homes in the neighborhood, they collectively have $53 million wow. more equity. That's crazy. I'd like to have a little of that $53 no million, wouldn't you? So if you need part of $53 million, head to <laughs> Wexford Subdivision in the Roswell-Fulton County area. If we look at it on a scale of 100, Alfie, and we say the year 2007 is represented by a sales price average of 100, sales prices dropped to a 70 in 2011 and back to a 101 in 2015. There are currently eight houses on the market from a low asking price of 345 to a high price of 427,000. There is 3.04 months worth of supply. So 3 months worth of supply. If you're listening you say what on earth Cleve's giving me all these numbers it is confusing me. Well, this helps us understand the level of supply and the balance of supply and demand in the area. We say that when you have 4 or 5 months worth of inventory, what does that mean? Well, if you take the number of sales that took place in the last year and you divide it by 12, then you determine that market's ability to absorb property, meaning how many people will buy and close an average property per month. So if you had 12 in a year, then it has the ability to close one per month per year. And it doesn't mean it's always going to stay that way. But if you had, for example, four properties on the market currently today in a neighborhood that had 12 home sales in the last year, you would have a four-month supply of inventory. If your inventory is four or five months, we consider that a balanced market. If it's under four months, and in this case, Wexford uh, is 3.04 months worth of inventory, we consider that a seller's market. And if you have more than five months worth of inventory, six months or higher, we consider that a buyer's market. The elementary school is Sweet Apple. Middle school is Elkins Point, and the high is Roswell. Roswell got, gets a school chimp score of 96, which, by the way, is an improvement for that school over the year before. This is called Cleve Atlanta Real Estate Show on Talk Radio 640 WGST. 